There's so many emotions happening right now. <gasps> Astrid cheated on. Very sad. Oh, no. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Dynasty. We are back with this series, and I'm so, so excited. I had to take a break just because of my show, but I finally got back into it. Plus, I had, like, a few viewers ask us to bring back the Dynasty series, so I definitely wanted to do that for you guys. But the last episode of Dynasty, we had Victoria. She found out that she's pregnant, and she told Harrison and her daughter, Harley, and they were super happy. And Harley ended up posting on Instagram that her mother was pregnant because she wanted Astrid to find out that way before her parents had the chance to tell her. And Astrid ended up finding out through her friend Alexis, and she was just very angry that she did not find out from her father. Astrid also went on a date with Lance Alexander, so we don't know too much about their family, but I think we might find out a little bit about them in this episode. On their date, we also had one of her former best friends, Melody. They're currently in a fight, but she ended up being at the same restaurant and just caused a ton of drama, so that all happened in the last episode. But in this episode, I wanted to make use of my prom mod, because I've never used it before, so I think I'm gonna use that in this episode, and we'll kind of get to see, like, what drama ensues from prom, and, like, who ends up going with who, and, like, what ends up happening with that. I think that Victoria might be having her baby in this episode as well, so we'll get to see that. So if you're excited for this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and let's go ahead and play The Sims 4 Dynasty. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like Victoria is not in her third trimester yet, but I have a feeling she'll probably have her baby at the end of this episode. So she'll be in her third trimester in three hours. Technically, in the real world, obviously there would be this whole thing where she's pregnant and it would be a really long time, but this is The Sims, so that's not going to happen. So the pregnancy is only like three days in this game. So yeah, so I mean, she'll be having her baby pretty soon. I do have a bunch of baby names that you guys suggested from the last time, so I'm excited to use one of those and to see if we have a boy or a girl. So I have not planned the prom yet because I did want you guys to be able to see it too And it's perfect because it's a Saturday I feel like in this game like all of our events like ends up being on days that you would actually have an event Which is really cool and really nice because in the royal family series I just like do them whenever so okay So I'm gonna add an event and then I'm going to go to prom I have no idea how this works or like ooh, I know Astrid's gonna want to become prom queen So that'll be interesting. So buy your ticket to prom dance the night away with your friends to make the memories of a lifetime so I guess you invite people and I don't know where you do this at host oh is Astrid going to be hosting the prom I guess maybe that's something that Astrid does like every year or something like she helps like host the prom I have a feeling Alistair would do the same thing I'm sure Harley asked to help but I don't think they want her well maybe she like ended up pushing her way into it and ends up like trying to also maybe yeah okay so I feel like Harley would like kind of weasel her way into being able to plan the prom too and Astrid kind of had no choice so she was like okay fine and I feel like they've probably been butting heads through the entire planning process okay so we want to invite so I don't know if you can like ask people out on a date to like go to prom with you because you could do that in the sims 3 and it was really fun but then again prom also wasn't a mod in the sims 3 it was like part of the generations pack like one of the expansion packs so this should be interesting okay so we want to invite Lance because they're oh uh, wait are they boyfriend and girlfriend yet I don't uh that's a good question I don't know I don't remember I'll have to check so Lance and then his sister Roxy who we have not met yet so we're gonna have to meet her and then Julian which is Melody's boyfriend and they're not getting along right now because Melody and her are not getting along right now so yeah Melody and her don't have a great relationship right now so we'll see how that goes uh Devinder Krishna who she's known since she was a child Devinder has like the biggest crush on her too and I don't think he's actually ever like told her that though so that'll be interesting so then Alexis okay and then this is a, a new guy so we have Jonah York here so Jonah is one of the politician's sons and he the politician's married to like this younger model but like the son was doing so bad when he lived with his mother and he got got kicked out of school so we had to move in with his father so this is Jonah York he's knows Astrid and Alistair a little bit but not really I feel like Alistair so uh, well I'll get into this in a little bit so I'll get into that in just a moment chaperone oh you have to have a chaperone Ooh, who should our chaperone be whoa whoa wait whoa 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 does Astrid have a romantic relationship with this guy uh um, I guess okay. Well, I did not realize that so I'm gonna have to try to figure that out and what's going on there Oh, do oh no wait one is not required. I 
I don't know. I feel weird putting like a Perrin as a chaperone. Uh, I actually don't think I'm going to go with a chaperone. I just, I don't know. I feel weird. Okay. Oh, it has to be on a generic lot. Uh, ooh. Okay. Okay. So it has to be a generic lot. Okay. So I have to apparently go back and, and find a lot for them to have their prom on. So I'm just going to download something from the gallery and then we'll, I'll, I'll figure it out from there. So I did not even realize that. So we'll just have to do this again. Okay. So let's try this again. So I ended up going with the club Lux, which I don't remember if we've been to before, but it was a club that I was figuring that Alexis Ripley's father owned. So it's like a new club that just opened. So I ended up just changing the lot to generic instead of a nightclub. So that is going to be our prom. And then we are going to set this for the evening on a Saturday. Why can't I do 6 p.m.? An event is already scheduled to start at this time. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to do 7 p.m. for the prom time. And yeah, okay, so that is scheduled for tomorrow, the next day. So I am super excited for that. So I don't really know. I like, not that Harley would ask Alistair to prom. Well, I don't know. Maybe she would. So I think that we're going to. I gotta see if, like, you can ask someone to prom, because I don't think you can. I am interested to see, like, exactly how this works. I feel like I should probably have us travel to the prom location, and then maybe... Oh, wait. Oh, does it have to be, like, a romantic thing or something? Me, I was, like, looking in the friendly interactions. Um, I don't think you can ask someone to prom. That's kind of disappointing. So I guess you just have to, like, go and be there. But I think I'm actually going to... Oh, whoops, sorry. I just like totally knocked my desk. I think I'm going to have them go to the prom location and then like decorate for it because I definitely need to do that because I didn't even think about doing that. But I'm excited because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I did change like some of their outfits for this. So I'm really, really excited. So I'm actually going to start setting up for the prom and then I'm going to like skip a little bit so it will almost be time to go. Okay, so I've actually invited like a ton of people to come help us set up because I feel like that'd be a thing like it would be a, a thing in town for like parents to come like some parents, not, not all parents, just the parents who were like more involved and then like obviously a lot of the teenagers and stuff too so do we actually have like an open dance floor for everyone is this supposed to be the dance floor i think that's the dance floor so it's like upstairs but i i don't know this seems a little strange so we're we're gonna do some build i don't want you guys to have to watch all this so i will skip through some of this okay so i'm looking through this stuff for prom and honestly there's not as much as i thought there's like a prom king and queen crown but it really doesn't look like there's much else for it so that's a little bit disappointing i thought there'd be a little bit more decorations but it doesn't actually look like there are but i still think this will be fun honestly the club is like pretty pretty decorated i'm not actually sure how i feel about the yellow but i really think it's fine so we have some people here so as i was saying before so alistair is in a relationship or like lo like lovebirds with lucian de luca so they're sweethearts so lucian actually lucian and As alistair's father they don't get along long and Lucian has also just kind of been like parting a lot. He's a young adult, so he's older than Alistair is. So he's been like parting a lot, not really paying much attention to Alistair. So I feel like Alistair is kind of like feeling a little uneasy about their relationship and doesn't really know what to do. Like right now he's tense. Like I feel like he's tense about Lucian. So that's just like one thing going on. But I feel like uh, I need to find him because I don't know where he went. But I feel like, oh my gosh, Harley is the first, of course, to be on the dance floor. And it's not even prom yet. So we already have like a DJ here and everything too. Okay, who am I looking for? I am looking for Jonah. I don't know where he went. But Jonah was the politician's son that moved because he was just being a big troublemaker. So I feel like... Alistair was kind of like crushing a little bit on him. Oh my god, people are sleeping. Oh, oh, people are sleeping. Okay, so I had <laughs> invited the kids. Like, this is Allegra Casanova. She's actually best friends with Lyric, which is Alexis's younger sister. And so she's here, and she's also Melody's boyfriend's sister. So it they like all these things kind of connect with everything. So I need to find maybe I could just like ask him to play chess because that usually gets someone close to you. Oh, or I could just like, oh, yeah, I. I think I need to teleport him over because it doesn't actually look like he's here. So I think I need to teleport him over here. 
Okay, so it's Jonah York. So I am teleporting Jonah here. So I do want to ask him to hang out because otherwise I feel like he's going to leave. So maybe we should do like, um, why, why can't I just ask him to hang out? Can I not do that? Well, I, hopefully he'll stay because he's on the computer right now. Maybe we'll just try to get him in private as a stargaze. They already have a little bit of a relationship, not a romantic relationship yet. I also have this mod where you can like, like Sims can come out as gay, bi, or transgender. So obviously his family knows that, or not obviously, I think I already told you that though. I think his family already knows that he is gay and then there's, most people already know that. So I feel like though, maybe Jonah doesn't know yet. So I've never tried this before. So I am going to try and kind of see how he reacts to that. Cause I think I'm gonna have Alistair come out as gay to him. Okay, so Alistair and Jonah are by themselves. They are just stargazing together. So maybe I should, I, I don't know if I should have them flirt first or if I should have them come out first. Maybe I should have them come out first and then I'll have them flirt. I guess it will depend on how Jonah reacts. So we're gonna have them come out as gay and I'm really interested to see how this goes. Okay, so Alistair is now coming out to Jonah. Um, I don't, I, I think he reacted okay. That, that seemed to be fine. What is this? Came out from coming out. Came out to someone and it feels so good. Okay, so I guess that went well. So, I think I'm gonna maybe have him start flirting with him. I want to see how this goes because I feel like Alistair really is just, oh, pristine reputation. Okay, Alistair got a pristine reputation and he became good friends with Jonah, so that's good. So, oh gosh, this camera is really, really weird. I need to change all this. Uh, okay, now we can see them. Okay, so I think that Alistair definitely has a big crush on him, so maybe exchange numbers. They're already getting like a really good relationship, so I think we can definitely have them flirt a little bit more at prom. Oh gosh, meanwhile, I have Astrid and Melody fighting over here. I don't know about what. I'm sure they got into an argument about decorations or something. Okay, seriously, they're still not getting along. I feel like someone needs to apologize. It's been a long time and it's for something really dumb too. So I don't know what is going on here, but it just seems a little bit ridiculous. Okay, Alistair's back here. So I guess that they, I don't know what happened. Um, it doesn't look like any romantic relationship formed with him and Jonah, but maybe something will happen at prom. It is 5 a.m. so I think everyone should go. So let's have everyone travel back home because they need to start getting ready, start getting ready for prom. Okay, so I actually brought Astrid and Alexis back to Alexis's house because I do want to age up their younger sibling. Although, okay, last time I could not find the baby anywhere and I don't know where the baby is. Like, Literally, I, okay, so you should, oh, oh no, I found him. Oh my gosh, okay. I could not find the baby last time. It literally, it took forever. So we're going to age up the baby. And then I also, oh no, is, is Lyric crying? <gasps> Oh, Lyric's really sad. That's so sad. Oh, maybe I should feed this baby first. Okay, because the baby's really hungry, apparently. So feed the baby. Otherwise, the baby's going to be taken away because that is not good. Okay, I had to move the baby because no one could touch it. So now we've moved the baby. So now I'm going to have Astrid age up Luna, which is such a cute name. I'm so excited to see what this baby's going to look like, too. Okay, so the baby aged up. So this, guys, is a Luna. I definitely, oh gosh, she's super, super cute. I do want to actually, like, modify, like, her outfit and everything so I can show you guys that too. Well, I don't know, I'll just, I'll just do it really quickly. Okay, guys, so this is little baby Luna Ripley. So we get to pick her trait as well. I'll just do random. So she is wild, which I have a feeling she would be. I mean, she is the youngest by a lot. Like, our siblings are way older older than she is. So this is a Luna guy. Oh, she's beautiful too. Okay, I need to like change some of her outfits and stuff, but I will definitely do that later on. I'm just gonna like do some of this now because it's really cute. Also, I just got the toddler pack and I like haven't really done much with it. So I'm excited to like play around with it a little bit, but I just like, this is so cute. I, how do they not have like a party outfit? I'm just gonna do like this little cute party outfit for her. I do that for like every party outfit though. So this is little Luna. I'm excited guys. She, I'm excited to see what she's gonna look like when she grows up too. So yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Oh my god, guys! What is happening right now? Okay, I am bringing Astrid here. Ah! What is this? Oh my gosh, stop! Oh no! Oh my god, I have to change this. I have to fix this. What is happening? Okay, she's fixed, guys. So there was 
something going on with that outfit. And I don't know what it was. It wasn't her hair. Maybe it was some sort of like makeup that she was wearing. But she's okay now. What was she doing? Oh, she was over at Alexis's house, but not anymore because it brought us back here. And then I noticed that glitch. So she's not over at Alexis's anymore, but Alexis will probably come over here and get ready. I'm actually probably going to have her do that. I think I need to make like, uh, oh, right. So we had our socialites club and Melody would normally come over and get ready with them. I feel like at some point, someone's going to have to apologize to each other. Seriously, it's been like way too long i do want to have like a just like a teen club and this isn't anything like specific to the game it's just because i want to make sure that there's a way to like get all the teens together as much as possible so we have like melody julian alistair harley technically so we'll it, like we'll have to expand this later on but for now yeah we can't we can only have like a few people but we'll we'll do this later on but i just want to actually like have a way to like bring all the teens together so we'll just do this for now and then i okay so i do have her prom dress picked out and then harley i'm gonna i'm just gonna bring everyone back here i'm really excited for prom but i'm definitely gonna have them start getting ready for it so i think that uh astrid she's going to invite over alexis and then I, I would do like the socialized gathering, but since Melody's part of that, I really don't think she would invite Melody over at the moment. Maybe, maybe they'll try to make up at prom. We'll honestly just have to see. And Victoria, she is pregnant. Oh, I should have thrown like a little baby showers. That's ah, fine. We can do that later. That will be another time for another baby. So we have Victoria. She is in her third trimester, so she should be having a baby pretty soon. And then I. I'm going to have them start changing and getting ready for prom too. Demi, okay, she's calling. Okay, that's fine. Um, I do feel like Harrison is going to want to meet Lance's father at some point. I think because Lance's father, he's he's a politician, but they also do some business as well. And I feel like a lot of people don't know much about Lance's father. And I feel like maybe he or Harrison is going to ask Carter, their butler, to do some digging and do a little research on them. So we'll definitely have to do that okay so we have alexis here i just had astrid offer to update her appearance i'm wondering if that will bring us to create a sim yes it will okay so i i wanted to do this because i want her to like help her pick her out her prom dress i already have astrid's prom dress picked i think maybe i don't maybe i have something else i i i know you know what i do have an idea for her prom dress though i'm just not 100 percent sure if she's already worn it so i think we'll just have to see but so this is the dress that Alexis wore to uh, no she wore this to the last event I don't remember if she's worn this one yet but I am going to have us change this I'm kind of liking this I don't know if it looks like like it maybe it might not be teen enough but I do still feel like it's really cute there's also this one too but I feel like someone is already wearing this I just can't remember who okay I feel like someone might be wearing this one already but it's so so cute so I think I'm gonna go with this hopefully Hopefully no one else is wearing it, but we'll just have to see. But this is like really, really adorable. So I think I'm going to have her wear this one. I don't know what necklace to have her. I don't even know if she like needs a necklace with this, honestly. Like that's really cute that you could do something just like simple, but I don't know how simple they would actually be. So maybe honestly like, like this, I feel like that goes. Okay, and then for her hair, I kind of, ooh. So, oh guys, okay, yeah, this, this is the one. This is it, I love, I, I'm in love with this right now. I think we're gonna go with this. I think I think we're gonna go with the tassels and no necklace. I think I don't think she needs a necklace. Oh my god, guys, she looks amazing. Alexis looks so awesome. I love this dress on her. Okay, so that's gonna be her prom dress. I do have a dress already picked out for Astrid. Has she worn it yet though? I don't remember what she wore in the last episode. Okay, I just checked. She has not worn the one that I want her to wear yet. It's her technically her party outfit, but I'm just gonna have her change into it when she gets there. So I am super excited, guys. So we already know what they're going to wear to prom. Prom's going to start soon. It is five o'clock right now, so they are still getting ready and everything. I'm just gonna have Astrid. She is going to, uh, we'll have her freshen up here. And then Harley, of course, is gonna be freshening up in her own room. Okay, guys, prom is about to begin. 
in. So let's start. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. So we are at prom. I did have some like townies ended up being invited here. So we have like, okay, I'm so I, I need like the light so I can show you guys everybody's outfits. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get any light, but I do want to show you Astrid. So this is Astrid's prom dress, guys. Isn't it amazing? I think I might have showed you guys this when I did the first episode and I was showing everyone's outfits and such. So I might have already shown you guys this, but it's amazing. I love it. And then we have Alexis here in her gorgeous, gorgeous prom outfit. So I'm going to, we're just, we're just, oh yeah, just ask her about day talk. So this is Alexis. Okay. So this is Melody, which I think Melody might've been wearing this in the last episode. So maybe I will just do like a quick change for her because I, uh, I think you guys have already seen her wear that though. I don't think you've seen her. Oh, oh, that's the same dress as Alexis. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to keep her dressed out. I feel like it's fine. She's only worn it to dinner. So sorry. You guys can't see anything like super different. But anyway, this is like, uh, what is it? It's Princess Amira's dress from the Royal Family Series 2. Whoa! Whoa, guys! Um, Harley just found out that Lance is evil? Um, what? Okay, well, you know what? I don't even think that Astro- Whoa! Whoa, hold up. Did I just see a romantic relationship? Oh my god, it looks like Harley is trying to flirt with Lance a little bit. Okay, well, Harley just found out that Lance is evil. Oh, I want to show you uh, her formal or her prom dress too, because it's actually really, really cute. So this is Harley's prom dress. Just got to stop for the fashion for a second. So this is her prom dress. She looks amazing. So yeah, that's Harley. Okay, well, she just found out that Lance is evil. I think she's also maybe going to try to be friendly with Melody, maybe. So I'm going to have her like ask her about day because she knows that Melody and Astrid aren't getting along and because our Melody and does because Melody doesn't like Astrid right now I feel like maybe that she would be okay with like get kind of getting close to Harley I feel like okay she's just found out that Lance is evil maybe she's gonna go tell Melody that like maybe she would go tell Melody that Lance is evil I don't know maybe to try to start something although Astrid's right behind them guys uh oh okay and then Alistair oh is Jonah here because I do want Alistair to flirt with Jonah because we couldn't get uh, what's his name? We couldn't get, uh, what's, oh shoot, what is his name? We couldn't get Lucian. We couldn't get Lucian here because he's a young adult, so he's not invited, but, uh, I don't, I don't know what's happening, you guys. Oh my god. Oh, I just saw a romantic relationship going down. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is, okay, what's all happening here? <gasps> okay, Harley was just trying to flirt, and then it looks like Lance is super embarrassed, and then it looks like Melody's super angry. There's so many emotions happening right now. What is Ash? <gasps> Astrid cheated on very sad. Oh no guys uninterested soulmate. Oh my god. Okay. All right things are happening. Well, okay Harley just tried to flirt with him and he's feeling very embarrassed though So I don't know how this is actually going. There's like bedrooms here. Do you think Harley's going to try to seduce him? I don't know though. Be oh no, she looks super offended right now. Why is everything glowing too? This is a little bit like too much light. I feel like if Astra just saw this, maybe, th oh, you know what? Maybe Melody might be angry because like, yes, her and Astra aren't getting along right now, but I, oh wait, there's Jonah. Okay, well, okay, I wanna pause. So I feel like she, obviously her and Astra aren't getting along right now, but I feel like even if she thought that was a little bit low, maybe Melody would try to make up to Astrid right now because Melody was there and Astrid is not one to be like heartbroken and embarrassed. So I feel like she is feeling super embarrassed. She's about to go like cry in bed right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. Maybe, maybe they would try to like start making up now. Okay, so Astrid is talking to Melody right now and things seem to look, oh, Melody just gave her a hug to console her, you guys. Oh, but yeah, she's like super angry and I feel like she might be venting to Melody right now. And Melody's like, yeah, like that girl, like she totally just screwed you over. So that is okay. So I think things are going to be okay with them. And then right now I am going to have Alistair. So he's going to flirt with Jonah. So I'm going to I'm gonna see how this goes. Maybe they should, oh, maybe they should just go get a drink too to kind of like be a little bit more romantic and stuff. I don't know if there's any bartenders around here though. Okay, so I actually don't even know if like, 
How, like, how can someone be prom king and queen? Is that an event that happens or something like that? I'm actually not 100% sure. We have, like, a ton of other people here at this club, too. I think that we need to have some people dancing on the dance floor, like, for sure. Oh, well, Harley's already dancing on the dance floor. I was like, you know Harley's going to do this. Okay, maybe she's going to try to introduce herself to Devinder, and we'll do a friendly introduction. Honestly, I think she's going to flirt with anyone right now. It kind of stinks that you can't have your own prom date, so it looks like, like, no one really came with a prom date or anything like that. Okay, it looks like Al or Astrid is feeling much better, but I'm wondering, guys, so she felt, like, totally betrayed. Like, he was apparently, I totally missed it, but he apparently was just flirting back with Harley. Maybe, I feel like Melody might have told her to like, maybe talk to him about it first. They're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet. So maybe she's going to try to talk to him first before she breaks up. I don't know though, guys. I feel, you know what though? She's pretty like rash, but you know what? Mel maybe Melody talked her into this because I feel like without Melody, she would have just been like, all right, fine. We're over. I'm breaking up with you. Oh my God, guys. Wait, Lucian DeLuca is here. <gasps> oh, oh, wait. How are things going with Jonah? Did anything? Oh guys, a romantic relationship is starting with Jonah. Where Alistair. <gasps> oh, Okay, um, maybe that should not be a thing. I don't know. I don't, actually, I don't even know if Alistair has even seen Lucian yet, though. So this, well, this will be interesting. I feel like Al, oh, no, you know what? Lucian's down here now, so. Oh, but so is Jonah. Oh my God, you know what? I think that we have to, oh, apparently, okay, apparently prom ended, but we're still gonna go. So apparently, I don't, uh, I feel like Alistair should probably, oh my god, wait, what's happening back here? Ah, guys, okay, romantic relationships are going down with Astrid and with Lance. Oh no, oh wait, prom queen, oh my god, you guys, Astrid just became prom queen apparently. Wait, who's prom king? Is it Alistair? Alistair became prom king. I think that um Alistair is going to talk to, oh wait, where'd Lucian go? I think he's gonna ask Lucian to just be friends. So I think we're gonna see how this goes because I feel like Alistair has found someone else that he is having a crush on. So I don't, I think that he's kind of just done with Lucian. Like he's like, you didn't even tell me you were coming here. Like I feel like Lucian was so oblivious to the fact that this might be where the prom was being held and that his boyfriend would be there too. I think we're gonna have to see how that goes. And then Astrid, okay, well they were arguing. I feel like she's just going to ask to be friends. So I wanna see how he takes this. Oh my God. So Alistair and Astrid are both breaking up with people at like the same time. Also, Al Astrid does not know that, oh wait, okay. And then Harley apparently is being mortified and like hiding from everyone. So Harley just made a huge fool of herself. Alistair is asking just to be friends. I'm gonna see how Lucian takes this because I don't think they always take it well if you ask to be friends. I think we're gonna have to see how this goes. And then I can see Astrid and Lance in the background. Okay, the romantic relationships have gone down and Lucian seems pretty cool with it though, guys. Astrid on the other hand, how is this gonna go? Empathy went down and she's asking just to be friends. I don't, I feel like he's not gonna take this well though. Oh my God, okay, they're arguing. Okay, so that one didn't go well apparently. <gasps> oh, and Lance is evil. I wonder if he's gonna get some kind of like revenge on her maybe <gasps> guys uh oh that didn't end well and she never even met his sister i just realized that too i wonder if his sister has something to do with anything well let's, we'll see how she like ties into this story but okay and then alistair i think that jonah might have already gone home oh no nope he's right here okay i want to see how this is gonna go so he's gonna do a bold pickup line and then i think he's just i think like now that he's a free man i think he might try try to start a little bit more of a romantic relationship with them. So we're going to like ask a risque question and then, oh my God, they're still arguing. Okay, they're still arguing up here. This is not going well, you guys. I think that they need to cool this off now because this is just, this is crazy, guys. Things are not going well. Okay, so Astrid's feeling very confident. Oh, no, no, never mind. Now she's enraged. Enraged. Oh, uh, it says she's not okay. That's not good, guys. Oh, but it's from a mood switch. So I don't know how this is gonna go because if Astrid- Oh wait, <gasps> Lance is down here and so is Harley. Oh my gosh, what is happening with them? <gasps> is Harley still trying to flirt?
flirt with him, I feel like she might be. And then Astrid is feeling so enraged, guys. <gasps> That's not good. Oh, no. But her and Melody, I feel like... Oh, I think she needs... Oh, they're talking to each other, like, all the way across the room. So maybe you should... Uh, I think it's going... Yeah, she might need to, like, just rant to her. I feel like it's going to probably take a while for her and Melody to kind of, like, get back up. Oh, wait, no. What am I trying to do? Cheat need and then make happy to them for them to like get their their relationship back up to like the friendship that they had before just because they were fighting for so long too and then it looks like harley has a good reputation now i'm pretty sure she didn't have that great of a relationship lance and harley just became good friends wait what harley is just like she like went in i think it might have been her goal to make them break up and then i feel like now lance might just be trying to get back at Astrid and now of course there's this girl like throwing herself at him and then Alexis just walked by <gasps> I feel like Alexis like saw that totally this is going to make Astrid so so angry attempt to seduce yes you know that okay yep and then oh <gasps> god is she gonna kiss him I don't even know like how this is gonna go is he gonna kiss her back that's what I'm curious about ah ah he did it okay yeah, because he wasn't really receptive of her flirting before, but now he's flirting with her a lot. I think that they... Um, I don't think she's gonna ask him to be boyfriend yet. Ah, uh, yep. I think they're gonna mess around, you guys. Guys, they're gonna... They're, they're, they're gonna... Yep, yep. All right, that's happening. That's happening. <gasps> oh my gosh, Astrid just broke up with him. This is all happening on their prom night. Hey, guys, I don't know. <gasps> okay. Okay, I well, I was thinking that Victoria would be having her baby, but oh wait, oh yep, she's in labor. Oh, okay, all right, so we're gonna leave this drama and I'm gonna switch controls to Victoria because apparently she's in labor right now. I was like waiting for that to happen. I was like, that should be happening soon, I feel like. Okay, ah, guys, she's in labor. Okay, um, have baby, have baby. You gotta have your, wait, why wouldn't it let you have your baby? Is she just having her baby now, I think? Oh, yep, okay, she's just giving birth right now. Victoria is having a baby down here, apparently, too. I need to make a nursery for her, too, but oh my gosh, you guys, ah, I'm so excited. There was just so much stuff happening. They had a baby boy. Oh my god, okay, I need to go look at the names. Okay, so some really cool names. I got some great ones, guys. Um, I have Clayton and Trevor and we also have Cole Corbin. That's a good one. I just think of Corbin Blue when I think of that. Um, Neptune is a really cool one. That one is really unique. And I actually really like that a lot. Uh, there's also like Ketis. I think we're gonna go with Clayton. Although, okay, I did have some other... I Oh, I forgot about these other names too. Apollo, Declan, Ryder. Oh my gosh, guys. These are great ones. Phoenix. Is that a boy or girl name? I think it can be both. Beckett. That's a good one. Beckett Golding. I think I'm gonna go with Beckett. Beckett Golding just sounds really good together. So whoever made that suggestion, that was a great one. You guys made so many great suggestions. I think we're gonna go with Beckett. I actually like that a lot. So I, th I think, oh, not, not three T's. That's too many T's. Um, let me just make sure I'm spelling that right. Yes, I am. Okay, so Beckett Golding. Okay, guys. I like that. I... <sighs> You guys let me know what you think of the name. I was stuck between that. I also really like Apollo. That's really cool too. Okay guys, so this is little baby Beckett, the new golden baby. So I really do need to end this episode here. The recording time has been like almost an, like two hours. So I really need to stop. Hopefully post editing won't be as big of a nightmare as I think it will be. So anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are glad that I brought back the Dynasty series. This was a lot of fun. It's just like a lot to record but I hope you guys still liked it, liked all the drama. I love Dynasty and I'm so excited to bring this back and kind of like add our own little twists and stuff to it too. So if you enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!